Today was the day I would fly a record time. By XC standards, it's not very long, but for me it is. Finally, I have a proper size wing that is more XC oriented with its amazing stability and collapse recovery innovations. The Da Vinci Rhythm 2. Mine is an XS with a flat area of 23 meters, a sharp contrast to my Super Iona 2, which is only 20 meters, and the old Advance Alpha 4, which is a good size, but very slow and old probably out of trim. The launch was a bit iffy as the wind was gusting up pretty strong and trees behind were sounding their disapproval. You can see the windsock agrees. Danielle and I had decided to play around with our Da Vinci Rhythm 2s while everyone else watched, gauging the situation. <laughs> Rotor from you. We ended up in a Da Vinci squabble somehow and just had some fun. I had flown the Canada flag a week before to test the wing, which is identical to mine, and made the decision to buy one. Control, control it. After kiting a while, I saw no reason not to launch. Made sure the speed bar was hooked up, though. Launching in this wind was, of course, just nice. stepping off the edge. Yeah. But it's coming straight <laughs> up the valley, so I must find some lift, or I won't make the flight park LZ. Steering with the seats for maximum now, efficiency. I must find a thermal. Else I'm done. I hope there's one here. Fuck, there's nothing here. Come on. Come on, there's got to. Oh, there we go. Swear, and the thermals will come. Someone else is launching now. I guess it was, there's no way I'm not going to go after a 63 oh no. year old lady just did it. My DIY Vario will top out at five meters per second. So it sounds a lot more dramatic than the lift really is. I'm just so used to it now that my store bought Vario sounds so boring. <laughs> Lately over the launch, we have been going back and forth rather than turning, so it's probably a combination ridge lift and thermal. It's good to be the wind dummy, sometimes. This is nice. In no time I was above coops. Time to go out along the ridge. At first it didn't look very promising. <laughs> and then... Oh, there's one. Big climb. Come on, come around, come around, come around, come around, come around. There we go. I'm still getting used to turning this wing. It's far less reactive than my Yona, oh, which yeah. will roll into this a turn with very little brake effort. When your ears pop, you know you're in a biggie. Uh, it's pretty rowdy right here, though. Now it's like idiot okay. lift, but not moving forward much. Look at this, I'm just heading in this direction. And uh, I don't know if I'm moving forward, I think I am. You can see the lift here. The red is high rate of ascension. Yeah. Momentarily I had over six meters per second. Somebody is getting up uh, there. Looks like I have glided to Cherryville at the current rate. Yeah, I'm just gonna pop up on the corner here. 
Once out over the valley, things calmed down a bit, but there was still lift. Jesus, Cooper's is just way down there. Everything. Fuck am I high? <laughs> I didn't even try. <laughs> this is awesome. I started contemplating heading out over to Saddle, but to be honest, I'm not sure where to go. Lots of pilots head over to Cherryville, but I'm not really sure where that is. So I decided to just bounce around the valley, eventually doing some acro moves and playing around. Unfortunately, the GoPro died by then and none of that was recorded. I noticed how strong the valley wind is today because of the turning timing when thermaling back up. Downwind was very fast to turn and then slowly come around going upwind. As you can see in the track, I pretty much crossed the whole valley getting to the top of this one. Well, this has got to be the flight of the visit. Hey, man, visit. this is Dave at the Freedom Flight Park. Uh, you're looking pretty good where you are now, but just be aware, it is pretty strong south wind from Lumbee, so uh, make sure you make it to the flight park fine. I found that going over towards the neighborhood north of the flight park would provide all kinds of lift. Then I could go south and do spirals and wing overs and have fun. It was amazing how fast I would climb out above saddle, though. As you can see, I did this quite a few times. I also flew way out over Lumbee. Now I can certainly see the appeal of XC, and I might get some basic tech to help with longer flights and navigation. As it is now, I don't even have an altimeter. Next year. This was so much fun. Eventually I went too low and couldn't get back to the thermal and had to land doing some fun 360s to come in. One hour, 29 minutes. My longest flight ever. Thanks for watching.